Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here on the Freedom Farm. I hope your day is going wonderfully. So the plan for today, plan for today's episode is, um, uh, come on. First of all, to get my animals to love me by picking them up and throwing them. Um, so the plan for today first is the bazaar, of course. And, uh... And then after that, start of summer, so we're going to need to get everything ready, uh, um, you know, get our crops planted and all that kind of stuff, which first of summer is also Felix's birthday, um, but, oh, which reminds me that we got to make sure to get that cheese wrapped um, out of the, uh, out of the windmill and wrapped, both for Felix and for Wilbur, because uh, Wilbur's birthday is on the 3rd. And that's pretty much it for t that's going to be pretty much it for today. Is the bazaar today, start of summer tomorrow, uh, and then uh, Felix's birthday also tomorrow, and uh, um, and Wilbur's birthday. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna save two tea leaves in case I screw up somehow, which is entirely likely. So every single morning. Every single morning, when it's a bizarre day, I, I go into panic mode. And I think for sure, I'm going to screw things up. I'm not going to get my stuff sold. I'm not all this kind of stuff. And then it turns out fine. Matcha, yarn, sea urchins, turnips. I was wondering if you could tell me where the wrapping stall is. Down and to the left. Oh, thank you for telling me. I'll come back later and buy something. Listen, you don't have to tell me lies like that, okay? Just happy to help. You know, they could have called it Jersey Butter. It's like, oh yeah, Jersey Milk, Jersey Butter, Jersey Cheese. Or Jersey Milk Cheese, I don't know. Instead, it's Good Butter, Good Milk, Good Cheese. It's like, okay, well, thanks. I mean, not like I had a choice in which cows you I got. Apparently my cheese is not very good, and my butter is not very good. And my milk is not very good. Oh, what am I doing? Speaking of milk, I need to put that out. Oh, and there goes the matcha. Oh, how cute. Would you give me this egg? No. She's a scam artist. You can tell because she says things very sweetly. Oh, shoot. I, I, I didn't mean to... Sorry, I didn't mean to ring my bell. Yarn, milk, eggs, small coins. Okay. Hey, this small coin is nice. Can I have it? For free? Sorry. Hey, this is a gift for Lucy. You gotta give me a deal here. Oh. Looks like you're working hard. How are things going? Good to hear. That's the type of positive attitude I like to see. Herb butter, turnips, milk, eggs, mint. Oh, my glasses! I can't find my glasses! You don't sell glasses, do you? What? Oh, you're right! Thank you, I didn't notice them at all. Hashtag relatable. Gosh. Potatoes, milk, eggs, mint. Looks like you're working hard. How are things going? <laughs> Good to hear. That's the type of positive attitude I like to see. We actually might not get the reputation win. The dude mad that I didn't give him something for free is, uh... Sorry! I got a lot of customers right now! Mmm. That could have saved us. Sorry. So, yeah, we've, we're... I think we're at 30 reputation. I think you need 50 or higher to win. So... Greetings, Ray. How are you doing today? Oh, this egg is quite nice. 
You can't have it. You want it, it's yours for half price. Half price? What a bargain! You are quite a salesperson, right? I mean, if I was a sale, if I was a good salesperson, I'd get full price for it, and you'd be happy about it. But I'm not a salesperson. I am a farmer. Are we actually gonna get first? Probably not. We we don't have a lot of high price stuff left. But uh, we are almost guaranteed second, I think. Or we are guaranteed second. I don't want to sell my fertilizer. Stop asking. Walnuts, honey, turnips, milk, eggs. Oh my gosh, please. Could you give me a deal on this milk? Are you sure? Thank you very much. Alright, milk and eggs, all that are left. Just the milk. Does nobody want milk? Like, this is fresh, farm, grass-fed milk. It's good stuff. So we may have run one on reputation. I can't remember if it's 50 or 60 that you need. And we're definitely getting second place. Probably not first. That's... wow. I did not think that we were going to do that well. Alright, so what do we want to pick up? Don't want to pick up anything from there. Oh, let's see if Lloyd has some silver. <gasps> he does! Yes! Okay, so we're going to just buy, like, five silver. And that's going to be pretty much our entire budget. Well, maybe not. Uh, we could pick up a couple of orichalcum in case it rains. Alright. What? Do you have any, I, like, I bought so much stuff from you. Oh, hello. Welcome to my food stand. Cooked rice, potato salad. Potato salad is apparently the only non-Asian thing that she sells. I mean, yeah, okay, cooked rice is eaten around the world for, you know, in various different cultures. It's not solely an Asian dish, but yeah. It... <sighs> All right, let's have a nice sip of tea while we eat our potato salad. Mmm, delicious. Thank you, Claire, for the potato salad, and thank you, Joan, for the tea. Alright, then we'll do the usual circuit. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune read? It's just 100G. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? Don't be distracted by changes you can't control. Follow your own path. Did that enlighten you at all? Feel free to come back any time. That's very generic advice, though. I mean, it's it's not it's not bad advice. It's just very generic advice. Got that done. The lucky lot of care to play. So that's one. Okay, yeah, sure. A branch. Two star branch. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh! Today just isn't my day. I got one winning ticket, and the prize was a branch. Fantastic. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Well, this is just a rumor, really. If you see something like a flower on the ground, pick it up right away. It won't be there the next day, so if you see something you like, grab it. If you don't know about foraging by the time you get the bazaar up to 50%, don't worry. He's gotcha. <laughs> Busy. Don't work too hard. Oh, for me? Thanks. We could get some chocolate. Freya likes chocolate. I know that. You can tell because of the color of her hair. 
Only brown haired people like chocolate, just so you know. Don't try and give chocolate to people with black hair or blonde hair or red hair, they won't like it. The funny thing is, is that I have brown hair and I'm actually not a big fan of chocolate. Good evening, Ray. All done for the day? Oh, hello, Ray. You're up late. You must be working hard. It's seven o'clock. It's not that late. <laughs> Good evening, Ray. Well, thank you. I broke a dish again. I just forget what I'm doing sometimes. Oh, goodness. Alright, so let's get these... Let's get these blue necklaces made, shall we? We have been waiting for so long! Alright. High quality amethyst. High quality copper. Don't know what the quality of that is going to actually look like, but we'll see. Alright. Um, yeah, okay. We are gonna have to clear out the, uh, um, whatchamacallit? <sighs> Sorry. Alright. So we are gonna have to clear out, um, the wool from this. Um, a couple of times this week, but our storage situation should be fine. How's work going, Ray? Maybe I'll come say hi sometime. That's her orange heart. Yeah. Okay, Sh Sherry. Sherry wants you to try her cooking, and I don't know what Daisy's thing is, but Daisy's yellow heart is. She's opening up to you about the fact that she's very clumsy and things like that, and. She wants to improve, but she doesn't know how. So she's opening up to you. And Antoinette's orange heart dialogue is... Hey, how's work going? Maybe I'll come by and say hi. Anyway, if your plants look like this, it means you didn't water them. Um, it doesn't mean they're dead. You just water them again and they'll perk right back up. Uh, but because it's the end of the season and we're not getting another harvest from them, it's kind of pointless. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners! In third place with 64,000 G! Joan, congratulations! In second place with 83,000 G! Do we. We actually got first place! Wow. Wilbur Store! Congratulations! And in first place with 91,905G, Ray! Congratulations! Thought I would be the number one guy. Didn't even get close. Oh, don't worry. You do pretty good most weeks. A lot better than me. And the person with the happiest customers was... Wilbur! The customer said your service was top notch! Well, shoot. <laughs> You've all done the town proud. Keep up the good work. For being in the top three, Ray will receive a token of thanks. A mint tea! I hope you like it. Nice. For gold to be the best bazaar on the continent, we are now almost halfway. We can do this! We've just got to keep it up! Our goal for the next bazaar is 80,000 to 100,000 G! We can do it! Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar! Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of tea. To soothe my poor throat. And then... 
Try not to disappoint with this. See the curtains hanging in the window in the evening on a Friday night. A little light streaming through the window lets me know everything's alright. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Blowing through the jasmine in my mind Summer breeze makes me feel fine Blowing through the jasmine in my mind See the paper laying on the sidewalk Little music from the house next door So I walk on up to the doorstep through the screen and across the floor Summer breeze makes me feel fine Blowing through the jasmine in my mind Summer breeze makes me feel fine Blowing through the jasmine in my mind Sweet days of summer, the jasmine in bloom July is dressed up and playing her tune And I come home from a hard day's work And you're waiting there not a care in the world See the smile waiting in the kitchen Through the cooking and the plates for two Feel the arms that reach out to hold me In the evening when the day is through Summer breeze makes me feel fine Blowing through the jasmine in my mind Summer breeze makes me feel fine Blowing through the jasmine in my mind Hopefully, I did a decent job with that. And that is... Summer Breeze by Seals and Croft. There aren't a whole lot of songs that are actually about the various seasons, but I don't mind that. I actually really like Summer Breeze. Um, and uh, I had to make sure to look up the lyrics and practice it. I actually practiced it yesterday. Um, <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner, everybody was drinking and laughing. and Well, I don't drink, so... Yeah, um, so I just, you know, took out my phone, and I started practicing that. Um, I only practiced it a few times, so I apologize if that wasn't very good, but, yeah, uh, learning the lyrics, actually, I like the song even more. I think it's a really nice song, and, uh, um, I actually... After everyone, you know, went into the living room to, uh, um, to play some games uh, that I wasn't really all that interested in playing, I, uh, I sat down with my mom, who was the only other person not in the living room, and uh, we kind of talked a little bit about that song and about some other things, and it was nice. I did promise to let you know how the, uh, how the biscuits turned out. <laughs> As I mentioned before, uh, my sister and I, uh, both of us, forgot to pick up yeast. Well, it's not so much that we forgot to pick up yeast, it's that we thought that the other was going to be picking up yeast. And so, rolls were not an option. But biscuits were. Unfortunately, my sister, she does not have just buttermilk lying around the house. And so I had to figure out an alternative for that. Well, yogurt is a good alternative for that. Yogurt with a little bit of milk. And so, you know, I I make the I make the biscuits. I made a a, 
a batch and a half, actually, because I was certain that the eight rolls that my sister got were not going to be enough, and that we'd need a lot of biscuits, and eight rolls for nine people is not a is not a good amount. I thought that was, wasn't was going to be anywhere close to enough, and that we need a batch and a half of biscuits to make up for it. Luckily, there was just barely enough um, flour for three cups, which is a batch and a half, and you might have already noticed where the problem was. So to make biscuits, of course, you gotta roll them out. And in order to roll them out, you need flour. Otherwise, they'll stick to the counter or the or the mat or whatever you're using. So I used all of the flour and there was... And so there was no way for me to roll them out, except... I can't remember if it was my sister or her boyfriend who suggested uh, um, that I use cornmeal. My sister doesn't have a biscuit cutter. She doesn't have anything, any sort of circle or circular thing that can be used to, to cut out biscuits like that. So I could have made drop biscuits, but not too keen on that. Actually, what I could have done is I could have made cheddar biscuits, which would have been fantastic, but it was something that I thought of after the fact. Um, but yeah, so she didn't have any, uh, um, any round biscuit cutters or anything like that, but she did have, she does have a lot of cookie cutters. She gave me several options, snowflake, unicorn, Christmas tree, all sorts of things like that, uh, and I went with the, uh, with the heart-shaped ones. So, I brought cornmeal, yogurt, heart-shaped layer biscuits. Unfortunately, the layers did not separate very well. It was still, it was still pretty, you know, puffy and whatnot. And uh, they turned out okay. <laughs> they were, uh, they were not a terrible contribution. I also contributed uh, um, some appetizer stuff. It was so cute. The dogs, uh, when we got back, were very, very excited because we did get back fairly late. Towards the end, um, for the last, like, what, four hours of the of Thanksgiving, uh, um, I did join in with some games, with some, uh, some Jackbox games. We played some Drawful. We played uh, some Split the Room. And it was fun. I'm not the most fantastic artiste when it comes to drawing things on my phone, drawing things with my fingers. But I, I, I only was in last place a few times. Oh, and we need to give Felix his present, his birthday present. We almost missed it. We almost missed his birthday. That's not good. Uh, you get a huge boost. Uh, from giving uh, villagers things on their birthdays, and so you definitely do not want to miss that. Making sure nobody's causing trouble. Hmm? Oh, Ray! It's late! Shouldn't you get to bed soon? Well, yes, but I need to give you your birthday present. Oh, for me? How intriguing! Oh, birthday present? This is great! Thank you, Ray! This is going to be a, a bit of a long episode, most likely, and we're still not done with it yet. Uh, but before we are done, and before we get to that point, I just wanted to remind you all to do all that YouTube algorithm stuff that everyone's always bragging about. The like and the subscribe and the comment and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let me know what you think of my singing, because I really appreciate some feedback on that. Should I never sing again? Or... Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy the the little song at the beginning of each season? Um, but yeah, that sort of stuff, it really does help me out. And uh, so please do not forget to do that. I have something to show you. Follow me. Now, what is he doing here? We didn't order any animals from the bazaar, and even if we did, we, we would have delivered them yesterday. <gasps> what is this? Go ahead. Choose the one you like the best. Oh, this is a present from the mayor. 
You've been here for a whole year, so the mayor thought he'd give you a gift. He told me to give you a horse, but I didn't know which one to give you. So I just bought them all, brought them all, and you can choose which one you like. Go ahead, pick one. Uh, uh, okay. Black horse. Oh, actually... Hmm... I think we're gonna go with the red horse. I was gonna go with the black horse and name it Eclipse, but... I'm gonna go ahead and get the red horse. Now, because there's a limit of six characters, I can't name it Red Hair, but it is red, so we'll just name it Hair. For those that don't know, Red Hair is kind of this, uh, um, this kind of heroic horse during uh, the Three Kingdoms period. Uh, first, he was given to Lu Bu, and then after Cao Cao uh, managed to take down Lu Bu, um, it was, it was Cao, it, you know, Red Hair was in Cao Cao's stables for a while, and then when Gu An Yu enters Cao Cao's service for a while, um, Cao Cao gave him Red Hair, and uh, he was with Gu An Yu until Gu An Yu died, and uh, then Red Hair died. So, yes. And it was said that Red Hair... Now, do you know how to take care of a horse? Uh, yep. Great. Well, take good care of it then. Uh, um, Red Hair was able to said to be able to um, run a thousand lie in a single day. Lie being a Chinese unit of measurement. If I remember correctly, it's equivalent to about a third of a mile. I'm going home now. See you at the bazaar. So yes, it could run like 300 miles per day. I'd also like to remind you that if you are watching this within about two hours of it going live, that means that I am currently streaming the recording of the next episode right now over on the streaming channel, and a link to that will be down in the description. So if you could stop by and say hello, I would appreciate it. Yes, riding our horse is is faster than us just wandering around, but we can't take our horse on the barrels and on the side routes. We have to follow the paths. I'll tie up our horse outside the cafe. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, Ray. Hello. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. I think we got a couple new dishes, don't we? Raisin bread or curry rice? Hmm. That's actually a tough decision. I think we'll go with the curry rice, though. Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. Hey, see. Please come again. Alright. Have a little tea with our curry rice. Mmm. That was delicious. Thank you, Joan. Yeah, the sweet is going to be done uh, somewhere around the 20th. Um, we planted it on the 2nd of fall, so it should be... I don't know, 18th, 19th, or 20th. And it sh actually, it should already be 5 stars. I'm pretty sure wheat counts as a non-regrowable crop, because it is a non-regrowable crop. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have its own designation or anything like that as long as it's uh um so as long as you fertilize it every day in fall it should reach five stars but just in case just in case i'm wrong about that because like i said it's been a while since i last played this game before doing this playthrough which is a shame because it's a really great game in a lot of ways, cats are easier to train up than dogs because just naturally, sometimes cats will hit the bell multiple times when you throw it out for all your cats. Um, whereas with the dogs, you have to actually make an effort to throw the bone like three extra times. Well, what do you know? Our blue necklaces are complete. 
we can see what the quality rating on them is. Even if those four blue necklaces are only half star quality, which I don't think is the case, I think that the gemstone primarily determines the quality, but it's possible that the metal also helps. I don't know. But even if they were half star quality each, that would be 128,000 G just from those. And so we could hold them and try and get first place um, with the bazaar for a few weeks in a row, but I think the lost opportunity cost from uh, from not selling them and not getting the most out of it right away uh, would far outweigh the, you know, like the mint tea or something that we would get from, uh, from being first place at the bazaar. Two star blue necklace. Oh my gosh, that's going to be worth so much. Same with one and a half star. Both one and a half stars. And there isn't even a single half star one. Oh gosh. We're going to be making so much money this next bazaar. I'm telling you, I'm going to clickbait so hard. Yes, we do want something else. We want some horsey treats. Cookie full of horses' favorite vegetable. A very nutritious treat. And we need to give one of these to our horse every single day. Otherwise, whoops, no. Otherwise, um, we'll decrease friendship. Okay, let's, and, right? Yeah, okay. Yes, I did remember. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, Ray. Hello. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Herb salad. Mmm. So we're gonna get one of these. Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. And then we're going to get, we're going to get like 10 of these for Sherry. Because she likes them. And I know that because cheating. All right. Take, uh, drink some tea. Mmm. That was delicious, Joan. And very refreshing too. Oh, well, what do you know? Hey, Wilbur. You're getting good exercise on your farm. Exercise is important. For me? Thanks. A birthday present? Oh, this is nice. Thanks. Something to note about the uh, necklaces and really about accessories in general is they're all pretty good gifts for the bachelorettes. I don't know about the bachelors. <laughs> so, okay, so I guess I should have uh, displayed that. Uh, you can press A. And that shakes the tree, and the fruit will drop, and then you collect the fruit. Or, you can do what I did, which is jump, and then press B, and that collects all the fruit at once. And that's, of course, the better option by far. Okay, let's go ahead and visit Daisy, late in her room, at night. Listen, I'm, I'm just giving her a flower, okay? Please, Chris Hansen, don't think anything of it. Well, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope I will see you later. Bye.